Quest, and today we're doing that Dragon Quest Die episode 32 live reaction. Hey, I gotta bring that energy now, boy. We in Z. <laughs> no, uh, last we left off, this boy Die just went ham. Die went ham. Granny still got his ass whooped. Oh no, he didn't get his ass whooped, but you know, um, it's not looking too good like toward the end right there. Cause technically, I feel like Die would have won had he knew about the sword thing, right? Um, and we have hope. We have hope that Pop will come back to life if the princess can uh, do the spell correctly, or if it even works. I forgot, guys, like less than fifty percent chance or something like that, right? So hopefully it works. Uh, Cause my boy Pop deserves to come back, man. Man, uh, but I have been like I said, I've been enjoying Dragon Quest, y'all. Y'all know it, man. For those that come here every uh, week to watch it, boy, which I truly appreciate, man. Um, just enjoying it. I just enjoying it. I wish more people would enjoy it, but I feel like I feel like they will. I feel like it's gonna, you know, I feel like it's gonna grow in popularity. Don't, don't, don't worry. I feel like it's gonna happen. But regardless, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, though, guys, for more Dragon Quest Die live reaction slash reviews. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel or you're coming off the make sure you hit that red button. Try to get to that 40k. Join your boy in his Dragon Quest journey. Just saying. That could kind of fit right in. I'm just, all right. About to begin this, guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get. Fair one to the front. Right. So I'm guessing he's about to win right now. Maybe. I. Okay, okay. Like, I always forget who, uh, I know if, I know it's fun to mention, but I forgot who, like, does drag queen, but they do, doing a great job week to week. I feel like, I don't think, I don't think the quality has ever dropped with this show. It's just gone up. Like, I don't know. Like, I might be wrong, I mean, but of the 30, was it, 32, right? Of these episodes, I have not seen a drop in quality. It was amazing. Gotta praise him. <laughs> Uh-oh. What will my boy Hanukkah do? Come on. Uh oh, come on, let's get it. Let's get it. What are we doing? Shit! That boy will drop to the ground. God damn! I swear the cloud, the little smoke cloud. Oh, he got the sun. I was about to say the smoke cloud and the ground cloud just happened at the same time. But the boy got the sword. Let's go. It's still a legendary dark blade. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know how he's just talking while he's falling. It's a legendary dark blade. So it should be <laughs> Uh oh. Let's get it. I mean, that boy died like, oh, yeah, it's a wrap now, buddy. I guess that makes sense, but. Oh, wait, actually, that would actually make sense of why he doesn't have that sword in the uh, the ending, right? And he has a spear instead. That would have made sense if his sword didn't bring him, but we'll see. The hell is this man doing now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll shatter it in one blow. Boy, calling him out. Hmm. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, let me hit. Hold on. Uh oh. With my power, master's technique, high uncle's blade, come on, son! Hit the pose. 
Oh, we got the flashbacks in the background. You know, every time in anime, when the flashbacks are in the background, you know some clean shit about that. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, they didn't even cross. I, I thought he used the technique. They just bumped each other. Phone calls during the reaction. Can't have that. I'm over here. I'm just. I'm focused right now. They will not hit each other with the blades. They're, they're hitting each other with everything else but the blades. God damn, though, this shit looking clean, man. I'm telling y'all, man, the quality is just going up, man. I'm glad they explained that. I'm glad they explained it. Because <laughs> I'm sitting there like, why aren't they striking each other? <laughs> no. Oh, is he coming out? Is he dead? I didn't even really think if he was dead. I thought he just got knocked out. Didn't he just, like, slap him? But walking in heaven. God damn. God damn, y'all. It was so obviously. Oh, wait. Wait, while well, he's here in the afterlife, oh, are we going to get to see Avon? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Hold up. Wait, he's talking? He's dead? I guess anything's possible in the afterlife. My feet keep moving, it won't stop. Wallpaper right there, y'all. That's fucking wallpaper right there, dog. Just the light, the light colors. <sighs> Come on, man. This is crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that stopped them feet. That stopped them feet. But she says, is that the opening? Oh, shit! Damn! Shot that fool right in the shoulder. Ooh. You did, Pop. When you're using the God tape, you try it your goddamn hardest. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> but say, I do not care about no damn battle experience. Mm, mm, mm. 
some words, man. I think coming from Gum Chan, coming from him, it's hidden. Just because he doesn't speak, but damn, oh my god. What the hell? That looks clean as hell, I can tell you that though. Oh my god! My nigga popped back from the dead! A corpse cast a spell? Oh yeah, that's it! That's what he needed! Oh shit! Boy, that boy looking like Zenitsu for a second! Them damn zigzags! Oh, that's it. That's got the dragon aura. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Oh, the sword is cracking. Looks like I was right. Oh shit. Oh, his sword. Did his sword break. Now, I'm really confused because like both their swords actually looked like they were fine, but something cracked. God damn, that was just half the fucking episode, y'all. Jesus Christ. Like, uh, Dragon Quest. I, I gotta make a fucking top, like, top ten list of, like, fucking anime that's, like, right, like, uh, underrated anime. 2021 and I need a guy something man cuz this shit is crazy Oh shit The Dark Blade is dead. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, this man's still up. Oh, his sword did break. Okay, I was like, ah. Well, at least he's in his regular form now. Bleeding out. Sword broken, like what else can this man do?
<coughs> Is such a miracle possible? What the hell is this shit? Dragon Knight blood? And we shall settle this. You have to defeat me in order to get to the dark army. He's like, we just fought! <laughs> Mega! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! My nigga back! My nigga back! Pop! Pop! You became top three character! Mm, mm, mm. The first and last time I offer a gift to an enemy. Oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. Why is this shit so good, man? <laughs> Bar has regained his human heart. Oh. Tragically powerful even alone. God damn. Oh man. Oh man. Why is this shit so deep? The worst possible outcome. Oh shit. Oh shit, what they gonna do to him? Damn, the only one with the power to resist. Mm. I will forgive up to three failures. <laughs>
shit. That's the scariest shit. Probably shitting himself right now. Though he don't got no more chances now, boy. You done ran out. You do something else. It's a wrap. <laughs> so you get. <laughs> so you go back up one. I gave you a little. Uh, I gave you a little extra life there. <laughs> the luck. My third finger shall drop. And you don't want to see what happens when my third finger is dropped. Boy, I'd be kissing the floor right now if I was had. I'd be like, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> I, knew, I had a feeling he was going to say something like that. We can kill him anytime. Hmm. Mm -mm. The final charge, hmm? So he up next, huh? Oh, man. Alright, man. What's next, bro? <clears throat> what's next, y'all? gotta be dreaming. There's no fucking way. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so Hallard. Damn, why didn't Pop get his ass when he just came back to life? My nigga, he just came back! There's a boy who's skin. I forgot all about him. Oh, my God. Alright, so, man... I actually like how they beat Barra. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Because, yeah, as y'all know, uh, that was my concern for these couple of episodes. That I was like, this man is so powerful. Like, he is like molly whopping all of them effortlessly. I was like, how the hell are they about to beat this guy? And, sure enough, after all, like, after all is said and done, I think they beat him, like, in a, uh... A realistic way I'll say cuz it wasn't like they beat him and then you know dies up like oh, yeah like this man's over here <laughs> like you know everybody's still injured and shit and even Baron himself he's still walking around by the end of it but I'm getting ahead of myself right so where do I begin first of all I guess I'll say you know uh, uh, we'll start with Hyde because th that was like the beginning of the episode his plan was basically to give uh, Dai his sword. And, you know, it, 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 his sword is basically stronger than a normal sword, but it's not as strong as Baron's sword. But it'll get the it'll get the job done of, like, you know, using an Avon Slash combined with his uh, Dragon Crest. So it'll be just enough, but once he does it, it's a wrap. So he, he has one shot, one shot. And throughout their fight, because they both, like, basically charge up do a move right uh zap on their swords and you know at first he's like i'm gonna use it bar i'm gonna use my strongest move giga break and then he's like that's not a giga break <laughs> the way he said that's not a giga break you can't even do giga break no more so uh turns out yeah bar is like up to his limit basically in mana magic whatever you mp whatever the hell you want to call it i'm sorry <laughs> uh but yeah he's basically at his uh, max right so he has to use like a, I think he used Zapple, right? He's like, you can't use Kazap anymore. <laughs> and it's, so he's like, so this is gonna be it. This is the final. Or whoever lands this is gonna be the final move or whatever. So they go to Clash, and I'm thinking that's like, I thought they were gonna do like some kind of like, you know, not, not like a beam struggle, but you know, like their cross blades and then like, kind of like how they did toward the end. But no, they over here, boom. Ah! 
and then they're just like over here hitting each other with kicks in their left fist or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck did I even slice it? But then they had like a little quick scene because that uh, the gypsy girl, she was like, she was like, why aren't they smashing each other? And <laughs> that's what I was like, yes, why? And you know, I was like, oh, because whoever does the move, like they're looking for an opening, and basically once they do that move, it's it's a wrap. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. So you know, they're going back and forth, and throughout all this. Princess is still trying to bring Pop back to life, but she doesn't uh, hear a heartbeat or nothing. She's like, it's not working. And turns out, uh, and I don't know, because they don't clarify just yet, and maybe they will next episode, but for Gong Chan, he was in the afterlife with Pop. And like I said, I didn't even really think he was dead because, like, if I remember correctly, all all he did to him was just like pimp slap him down to the ground, and I thought he was like knocked down to like a coma or something, which he still could be. But like, if he was in the afterlife with Pop, that's why I'm like, what the hell happened? But anyways, you know, Pop was in the afterlife. He's like, oh man, damn, I guess I'm dead. I guess that makes sense since I use uh <laughs> since I use the technique, and he's like, oh shit, I did use that up, huh? and. And, you know, uh, Gong Chan's there telling him to stop walking in that direction because that's the way to the, um, the dead land or whatever. Um, and you'll be like, you know, dead forever. And he's like, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I could, but uh, my legs, they're just moving on their own. Sorry. And, and I will say that shit, that shit did throw me off because I, I wasn't expecting him to start speaking uh, Gong Chan because, you know, in the real world, he's like, nah, nah, whatever the hell he does. But he's like speaking finally in the afterlife. So, and he's basically like starts taunting Pop. He's like, oh, you're a coward. You're a weakling or whatever. You didn't even like do all that you could when you were alive. Fucking dies over there fighting for his life out there. And you're uh, you're dead. But I mean, he's still fighting even though there's like barely a chance. And you just abandon your friend. And then that pisses Pop off. And he's like, no, die. I never abandoned him. I never <laughs> And he like and he did a spell while he was there, which was crazy as hell. I'm like, oh my god! And it ended up hitting Baron, and that gave Dodge the um, the moment that he needed to strike. Oh no! I ain't gonna lie, Dai, I thought Dai was gonna go straight to him, but instead Dai started doing all this fancy shit where he's like zipping around. Ooh, 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 and I'm like, okay, take away the surprise, right? So he ends up doing it, but then Baron also slashes, so then they finally clash, but, excuse me, Dai ends up breaking his sword and ends up slicing Baron, and then they both went flying in opposite directions. So, and that was pretty much the end of the fight, and I was like, wow, okay, oh, so this is how he won, amazing, Pop came back from the dead, all is good, but no, no, Pop is still, Pop was still fucking dead, like, he only got a chance to do the spell somehow in the afterlife, and he's still dead, that shit threw me off, I was like, oh my god, but then we have Baron coming in there talking about some, <clears throat> and then, you know, Dai tries to walk up to him, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you don't have to bluff, son, <laughs> and he just walks past him, though, and he stands on him, and, and, I mean, not stands on him, but stands over Pop, and he's basically like, you know, I can't believe that he did this much damage to me or whatever. And even like while he was dead, was there like a miracle that he like activated that spell while he was dead? Man. And, you know, basically from what, you know, I have to say, uh, he has his human heart back basically throughout this whole experience, I'm guessing. Uh, really, I want to say it's probably because of Pop. I honestly do want to say, which is crazy because if that's the case, Pop is really changing people's hearts out here. I know, I know a lot of these villains say die is, but let's, if you look back at the, if you look back at the cliff notes, Pop is, like, because really think about it, like, Pop, I feel like when, for, I feel like for Crocodile, it was Pop, because, you know, Pop was like, you know, Pop was very weak back then, and, you know, he was like, well, damn, you're gonna die for your friend? Are you serious right now? So I feel like it was Pop that changed Crocodile. With high uncle, I'll give it to Ma. I'll give it to Ma with that one. And, you know, for Baron, I still want to say Pop, because, like, it was the fact that Pop went so far to get died back. The fact that even after death, he was able to activate a spell in the afterlife. So I think, yeah, all of that Baron saw and he was just like, this shit is amazing. I can't believe this shit. He went this far? 
God damn! So, <laughs> so he ended up squeezing some blood out of his hand and dropped on his mouth just a dash of blood, and that actually brought pop back to life. Don't I guess like his blood has some kind of curing properties. I don't fucking know. But like I said, is Gum Chen dead because he didn't put no blood in his mouth? I'm a little confused. Um, I still want to say he was just knocked out. And by being knocked out, he was able to cross over into the afterlife. Like I said, that's a little iffy. I hope they explain that. Or maybe one of y'all in the comment section will explain it. But yeah. Uh, so Papa is back alive. I'm so happy. Granted, next episode looks like that nigga going back to the afterlife. <laughs> but uh, yeah, after, after that... Uh, Baron walked off and he was just like alright so in order for y'all to fight the don't worry I'm not going back to the dark army but in order for y'all to fight the dark army y'all gonna have to come back and fight me he was like as soon as I'm done healing as soon as I forge my new blade I'm coming back and I'm whooping your ass Dude, I'm like Jesus Christ they just fight so that was funny as hell and you know he walks off or whatever and um you know Hanko's like oh yeah he he got his human art back it's a shame he's so powerful yet so alone it's tragic you know some shit like that at the end um and then we get the scene with Hadler, which was funny as hell, uh, where Vern was basically like, you, you know, you screwed up royally here. You, you didn't tell me that Dai was a Dragonite this whole time. Now Baron is gone. We don't have Dai. He ain't dead. Uh, fucking Croco Crocodile, Crocodile, and uh, the crew, Crocodile and High Uncle, they just switched sides on us. Uh, you got fucking, uh, when, uh, what, what was his name? Why oh, can't I remember this fool's name? Wow. Oh my god, the, I, the fire ice guy. It's right here. My, I'm sorry, y'all, but, you know, uh, that, that was a failure. We lost that man. Oh, and then this incident. Oh, you don't got no blood. <laughs> He's like, but you did kill Avon. So I'll give you an extra life. You got lucky, but you only got one more chance. You know, Haller, oh my God, I know Haller was just so happy. He was like, God bless you. Oh, Lord, please. <laughs> so it's now Haller's time to, I guess, make it do what it did. And even, what's his name? His name Kilburn, right? Kilburn, he was basically like, I mean, why don't we just kill him now? And, you know, Vern's like, well, you know, we could kill him at any time, but I gave him the ultimate body, so he should be fine. Plus, if he really wants to win, if he's very desperate, he'll make it happen. So I'm very curious what he meant by that. Like, maybe we haven't seen, like, the full extent of what his ultimate body can do. So curious but that was pretty much the episode next episode i'm very confused what the hell is going on uh because it looks like like there was a little scene with pop and mom but i i can already tell that's gotta be fucking dream or something right so looks like he's probably dreaming or something and then it also looks like hadler and that uh sorcerer old guy they're like beating the shit out of pop and i'm like jesus christ he just came back to life but that makes me wonder if this is really happening in the real world. Because it does show also that like Crocodile and I don't know where they are. I think they're like in the castle or something. It looks like everybody's like resting basically. Um, and, and for some reason Pop is in the forest like getting his ass stomped out by Hadler and the old guy. So I don't know. I feel like this man is dreaming all of this. I might be wrong but we'll see. Uh, very curious. Very curious what the hell is going to happen next episode. But that's all guys. Remember for more Dragon Quest Die live reaction slash reviews. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel or you come to often. Hit the bell to get notified when I drop my videos. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook game page, and the Discord. All of them in the description boxes below. If you like the video guys, like the video, comment, know what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always guys, been your boy X. I'm out. Deuces.